you would probably need to get uh, a trash bag or to get something and prepare to take some breaths, deep breaths, uh, in and out as we deal with this spirit, uh, as I deal with the symptoms of this spirit. Amen. And uh, John 21 and 25 uh, says that, and there are also many other things that Jesus did, which if they were written one by one, I suppose that even the world itself could not contain the books that would be written. Amen. So some of us are, oh, it's not in the Bible. And let me just share this with you. I don't do uh, false teaching, but I am led uh, to deal with this spirit. Of the symptoms of the spirit that I see. Amen. So please, uh, please, as you are looking at, um, as you are coming in, let me greet some of you. Uh, I can't even see it. Hey, Kimmy. Hey, uh, Brother Chris. God bless you. God bless you. Sister Grace and all of you that are joining uh, again. Uh, I just read the scripture to you in John 21 and 25. Uh, somebody will say, well, you know, Apostle, oh, Brother Kevin, this is not biblical. And, and why are you saying this? Why are you teaching this? Time I expose the symptoms of it, it's going to be deliverance time. Just say deliverance time. Uh, the Marine Kingdom is not talked about. Uh, much in the body of Christ. Some think it doesn't exist. Some are scared to even have a conversation about it, uh, to be honest. But listen, look at this shirt. It says, well, it's backwards, but it says it's deliverance time. And it's deliverance time for many of you today concerning this spirit. All right. Uh, I don't teach uh, anything that's false on biblical. What I'm going to teach you uh, today is <clears throat> about the symptoms of this demonic spirit uh, that continue to plague many, many believers. See, I'm losing some of y'all already. <laughs> it's plaguing many of you and you don't realize it. Amen. So, Let's go. Let's get this addressed. We're going to get it addressed. But the marine kingdom or, or aquatic spirits or demonic spirits, they're not talked about. Um, and some that don't have a balance with what I'm going to teach. Let me tell you this. I'm not saying the water is bad. And uh, you will see what I'm talking about. Once I get this book uh, out and some, I'm going to explain it to you. I, I won't teach it now, but some uh, refuse to talk about. Some of you are listening to people who have a problem with deliverance or they're saying this is not effective. Or is there anything, uh, do we got to help Jesus concerning salvation? Is there anything else that uh, we need to do? Why do we need to help him? Uh, when we came to Christ, he delivered us. Let me tell you this. Yes, he delivered your spirit. I won't go into all of that, but I'm going to explain it uh, to you uh, because, and there's four places and there are many more where actually believers were oppressed with demons and uh, not necessarily uh, controlled by them, but oppressed by them. Like many of you that are listening to me today and don't know what it is. I'm going to deal with the symptoms. And many of you, although you don't understand medical terms, even when you go to a doctor, you don't tell them how to treat you. You trust what they're going to tell you. And I tell you, you need to go to the Holy Spirit and ask him about these uh, symptoms that I'm going to teach. I'm going to share some scriptures from the manifestation of this spirit. Those that are coming in at YouTube, please share this. Please share this with, on your pages. Share it. Share it with Facebook uh, so that they can so that they can call me a false teacher. Okay. <laughs> 
But tell them to cough up before they do. Tell them to cough them up. All right? So I won't play with this thing. And uh, uh, this thing has been plaguing many believers. I've seen it manifest when I am doing deliverance ministry uh, as well. And I challenge you, those uh, who need personal deliverance, to join me in Kentucky at uh, Living, Living Waters Fellowship Church um, in Kentucky on the 12th and the 13th. Come for the personal deliverance. Uh, and if so, if you don't break through today, we'll, we'll make sure we deal with that octopus. So I challenge you, I shared the flyer, flyer on Facebook to join me uh, in Kentucky for a day of deliverance. Amen. For a few days of deliverance ministry. I know there it's not taught. Some are saying it's not necessary. Just all these things. Listen, shut it down. All right. Because listen, whether they receive it or believe it or not. And sad to say, some of you are scared of this ministry. And listen, I don't look for demons. They usually find me. I don't look for them. You don't have to look for them. And they find me to challenge the authority that I know that I have in Christ. And the real issue is that many believers, you that are listening to me today, have not been challenged uh, to exercise your spiritual authority. Because you really don't know your identity in Christ and being a follower of Christ. And as much as we try to downplay it, avoid those gospels, avoid what Jesus did, and try to be relevant, the more you become irrelevant. We're in a time now where people need deliverance. No matter what generation that we'll be in, they will always need deliverance. Deliverance and healing is moving to the forefront. There, listen, many people, they are tired of the powerless church. They are tired of no miracles. They can't get healed. And listen to me closely. I'm not replacing you connected with a body of Christ, a body of believers in your particular region, city, or state. And I tell you, they should be doing this ministry. How do you follow Jesus and not do what he did? I'll let you answer that in your quiet time. How do you follow him and, and, and refuse to do what he did? When we look at Mark 16 and 17, all believers should be doing this ministry. It's not a gift, call, or anointing. Every believer, for those who believe, if you don't know, then learn how. Ask the Holy Spirit to help you. Connect with people who do it. Give the freedom yourself, okay? There's one other quick thing, and we're going to dive into this. I'm going to try not to be uh, too long because I want to dive right into this, and I'm going to pray some prayers for deliverance from this marine spirit, this octopus spirit. And I'm going to uh, deal with the symptoms. I'm going to talk to you practically about what the octopus does. And then I'm going to deal with the symptoms. Okay? With the help, the grace, and the power of the Holy Spirit. All right? Jesus died for you. Some that are listening need to give their lives to Jesus. Because we can do deliverance and healing, but if nobody is coming to Christ, who are you going to do the deliverance and healing on? If nobody's coming to Christ, who are you going to do it with? Some of you need to get saved that are listening to me right now. And you can't because you're being squeezed, constricted, and limited by this spirit. And probably many more are the spirits. All right, so let me share this real quick too. There are some books that I want y'all to talk about, especially if your grandchildren or children are going to a public institutions for education. Now, education influences society. And so guess what? 
It needs to be addressed because your children will be exposed to some of these things. I know the enemy is after our children. He wants them all feminized. He wants them all dead on drugs, on addictions, and he wants them to be with each other so that there could be no reproduction or incarceration. I ain't going to even talk about that. Some, some are dying because of what we eat and the food that we eat. They're messing our food up. But y'all think because the FDA approved it, that it's okay. That's a whole nother story. I, I may have to come and do a video on that too about diet. Those that follow me on Instagram, go do those workout videos. They'll help you tremendously. tremendously. And that's one thing the believer don't do. They exercise a fork and a spoon, but don't literally do no exercise. And the reality is some need deliverance from gluttony. Some that are watching me need deliverance from gluttony. There's nothing else for you to do. There's loneliness, despair. So you eat instead of pray or study the word of God or worship. What I'm going to do today doesn't exclude you for doing basic Christian ethics. Prayer, meditating on scripture, reading scripture, worship. Sometimes you may have to do warfare. But it's time out for the foolishness. It's time to deal with this marine alliance that I know is plaguing so many people. Now, let me go back to these books. If your children or grandchildren or people that you have been a mother or father to are reading these books, I want you to go to their schools in the library because I was put out because I said something about it. The first name of the book is It Feels Good to Be Yourself. It's, it's now in 26 different schools here. I'm in Indianapolis, Indiana. By the way, welcome. Uh, this is uh, Kevin Bailey Forum from the great city of Indianapolis. Amen. Number one, it feels good to be yourself. Do not let your children read these books. They're targeting four to 10 year old children. And then the other book is, it's perfectly normal. These books are about by Macmillan Publishing. Google them and do not allow your children to read them. They are filled with perversion and brings a lot of confusion concerning sexuality. All right? Don't let your children read these books. It feels good to be yourself. It's perfectly normal. Those two books. Don't let them read them. And listen, if, if, if I could just be clear with you, I'm going to say it. I, I know they're going to say something to me, but I'm going to say it. Gender was never identified, identified by how you feel. Just go and read Mark chapter 10 and 1 through 8. Marriage wasn't even defined by men. It was defined by God. Let that sink in. All right, let's go. Remember what I said? Okay. Let's go. So I want to talk about this, this uh, spirit, this octopus spirit here. Uh, it's, it's really a queen of marine spirits, multifunctional, has eight tentacles, uh, two feet, and a couple of brains. So listen to me closely. Now, let me paint this first picture. These tentacles, they squeeze you. They are very dangerous. They are poisonous. And listen, the spirit of Jezebel, which is not gender, uh, gender um, oriented, uh, is depicted as a woman, but it operates in both uh, genders. But some of the spirit of Jezebel, the spirits of Jezebel operate in this spirit. And some of you who are prophetic, the Jezebel and this octopus spirit, I don't know, it might be a python. They may have released prophetic words over you to enslave you or curse you when you left their ministry. I don't know. But some of you, you're in the cave. 
You don't ran in the cave from Jezebel. Elijah ran in the cave. Wanted to give up. Some of you are at your breaking point and don't know what it is. Now, this octopus spirit, uh, it brings problem after problem. So let me give you the natural aspect of it. So if you cut a tentacle off, one grows back. This symbolizes vicious cycles, patterns, and one problem after another. You deal with the problem, it manifests again. You deal with the problem, it manifests again. You cut the tentacles off. When we deal with it, we're going to release the sword of the spirit, the word of God into the heart of this spirit to kill it totally. Or this spirit comes, it calls back to you. You deal with the problem and this familiar spirit keeps coming back to you. All right. Over a period of time, this spirit shoots out poisonous dye. These are slanderous uh, words, curse words to you. It shoots out that poisonous words to demobilize you, to stop your momentum, to keep you from doing the, what God has called you to do. Or just in life itself, you're, you're feeling, uh, oppressed or stuck or stagnated. Let the Lord break that poisonous dial for you through those words of slander, gossip, backbiting. But this is what Jezebel does. A Jezebel spirit will come to you, find out all your secrets, Delilah too, and then use it against you. They'll go sell you out to the Philistines. Let that sink in. All right? Those that have been involved in forms of water witching, that spirit of mind control from or a mind-binding spirit, it's operating in you. It's an octopus. It sits on the brain. It tightens. Sometimes it makes you feel like you're going crazy. Uh, a spirit of uh, insanity uh, uh, attacks you, a mania spirit. But that's this spirit controls you with witchcraft, idolatry, intimidation, and control. When you go to read your Bible, are you feeling restricted? It could be a python. Maybe we need to hit them both today. You can't concentrate. This spirit is connected with chaos, confusion. There's always confusion in the mind. Chaos, memory loss, mental blanks, uh, mental farts. They call them mental farts. Are you struggling with mild depression, headaches, migraines, in an identity crisis? I have been doing mass deliveries before and had to hit this spirit and didn't realize it. Listen, that octopus will even camouflage itself and it's always in a dark cave, a place of darkness. In your darkest time, that spirit will come to visit you. It's always in caves in the deep depths of the water. It's a marine spirit, actually a queen spirit of the marine kingdom. I know some say, well, oh, apostle, listen, you can miss your breakthrough, miss your deliveries. Oh, you know, come on, brother Kevin, you know, come on. Uh, you know, you got to teach what's in the Bible. Gee, I, I teach what's in the Bible. But I do allow the Holy Spirit to speak to me. He spoke to me about a monkey spirit in a man, a donkey spirit in people before, or an ostrich. Why do a ministry? I told the demon to come out and it came out. It manifested and came out of them. I've seen people's uh, skin color change. When that octopus spirit is manifesting because it'll camouflage and try to hide. All right, let's go. I think I've named at least six points. Uh, number seven, a loss of destiny or purpose. So guess what? The spirit of procrastination attacks you. You start things 
have a good idea, but many a times it's not a God idea. You just start a bunch of things or do a bunch of things, but get nothing done. These tentacles have a hold of you, of this octopus. They have a hold of you. Sometimes there, there's bombarding of negative thoughts. You're not saved. You're not in Christ. Are you really saved? Demonic harassment, demonic recorders, some of those, they need to be broken over you today. The devil will tell you, you ain't saved. You're not prosperous. God don't love you. Those are all lies. It's a lying spirit. Number nine, pressures in front and back of the head. We're going to tell those demons to come out. The frontal lobe, optical lobe, and the back of the head. Sometimes it's a squid. Or a jellyfish demon. These are all aquatic spirits. Marine spirits manifest from an aquatic aspect. Water is not dangerous. I ain't saying you can't swim. You can't enjoy the water. If you live out of water, you better be mindful of the negative connotations that come with water. And not be paranoid. You have power and authority through Christ. Sometimes distorted vision comes, shortness of breath, panic attacks. I had somebody that told me and wrote to me said that it their pancreas was under attack, and it manifests as diabetes, attacks with lust and perversion. And I have thirteen different things here. Okay, I talked about the gluttony. Selfish ambitious, self-centeredness, outbursts of rage, outbursts of anger. Just say it's deliverance time. Just say that. Some are having nightmares and being assaulted in dreams. Watery dreams, under the water eating things. They say, oh, apostle, you know, it's not in the Bible. You know, we don't have to worry about that. We saved. And you saved you in Christ, but you experience in this bondage. And too afraid to say something. Listen, some of you, your leaders may run and hide. They're going to run with you. Be behind. <laughs> I don't want to mess with this. And my question is you. To you is, are you a hireling? When a wolf come on the scene, what you do, run and leave the people? Are you a hireling? Oh, I know. that This is not popular, you know, what I'm saying. Okay. Y'all expect me to get you really excited, right? <laughs> Say to yourself, deliverance time. Is there stubbornness? History of addiction. And there's many more. Are y'all there? Tightness of the head. Because listen, the squid brings irritation and anger to you. That squid will, spirit. So a jellyfish inflicts pain. Some of you got cyclical pain. These aquatic and marine spirits are attacking you. God wants to deliver you from the waters on today. Let's go to Psalm 77. Let's go to Psalm 77 real quick. He wants you delivered. But in Isaiah 42, let me look at that real quick while I'm over here. Mm -hmm. Is it 42? Let me look. Was it 42? I was looking at a 40. Uh, okay, I'll come back. Uh, to, yeah, I'll come back to that. I think it was 40, was it 43? Hold on, hold on, y'all stay with me. Yeah, to deal with this. Yeah, um, yeah, I'm a, okay, I'm a, is it 43? Y'all stay with me, stay with me. Yeah. Isaiah 43 in verse 2 says this. 
When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. This is Isaiah 43 and 2. And when you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, nor shall the flame scorch you. Write that down. Isaiah 43 and verse 2. Amen. Let's go to Psalm 77. I want y'all to look at this. Psalm 77. Psalm 77. I'm talking about these waters. And when he was talking about the demonic waters associated with uh, life, uh, the demonic waters and how he controls the waters. And this is a picture of him parting the Red Sea. I want you to think about that. The great waters of feeling like you're up against a wall. The great waters are, there's no end. But the God that we serve has the capacity, amen, to walk over those waters, to part those waters, to deliver you from those water. Anything that's a threat to you, calamity, whatever it is. Psalm 77 says this in verse 16. The waters saw you, O God. The waters saw you. They were afraid. The depths also trembled. Where is that octopus spirit? At the very depths in the bottom of the sea. Many a times hiding in caves. Side, uh, uh, blindsiding you. Somebody's doing witchcraft, blind witchcraft. Blindsiding you. In verse 19, this is Psalm 77, 16. In verse 19, it says, Your way was in the sea, your path in the great waters, and your footsteps were not known. And this was a picture of him parting the Red Sea. Those demonic waters that should have killed them, that should have destroyed them, but it destroyed your enemies. Let your enemies be destroyed in the sea. Let the demonic, let you be loosed from those waters. In Psalms 32 and and Psalm 32, let me look at Psalm 32 and verse 6. God delivers you from these waters. I gave you some symptoms. If I've been too fast, go back and listen to the re replay. Even all of you on YouTube, go listen to the, re the replay. Listen, look what he says. And Psalm 32 and 6 says, For this cause, everyone who is godly shall pray to you. In the time when you may be found, surely in a flood of great waters, they shall not come near him. Why not do the deliverance from the demonic waters or water spirits or marine spirits? Y'all see this? These, this is what's connected to perplexities, calamities. Are y'all listening to me? Let's go to Psalm 18. Psalm 18 and also 2 Samuel 22. Let's go there. Let's go there. And I have some more scriptures I want to give y'all to fight this as well. Let's go there. Yeah, let's be about it. Let's be about it. All right, let's go there. All right. Psalm 18 and 16 says this. It says, he sent from above and took me and drew me out of many waters. Psalms 18 and 16. Are y'all there? Psalm 18 and 16. This is what the words say. I know said, well, apostle, this octopus. Okay, how are you going to tie this together? We're going to do some deliverance. And you're going to renounce it. And I'm going to deal with all the things and the symptoms connected with this spirit. Are y'all there? Verse 17 says, He delivered me from my strong enemy, from those who hated me, for they were too strong for me. They confronted me in the day of my calamity. But the Lord, this is in verse 18 and 19, but the Lord was my support. He also brought me into it out into a broad place. He delivered me because he delighted in me. His delight and purpose is for you to be free, to be delivered. I know they talk about Leviathan, behemoth. These are water spirits associated with pride, stubbornness. 
We say, well, well, Apostle, how, how, how did you get that? How, how, how did you get this? Where, where is this coming from? And David wrote this when they was in Canaanite territory doing uh, idolatrous worship. And those instructions was given. And David uh, uh, is the one that said, deliver me out of many waters of witchcraft. They were doing Canaanite worship. Dark gods, the dark gods in Canaan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, Apostle, how you get this water spirits? Let me let me read some more scriptures uh, to you. And if Jesus said this in the book of First Thessalonians, First Thessalonians two and eighteen. One thing the octopus spirit would do is hinder you, restrict you, keep you from moving into your destiny, your purpose. Some of you are watching Twilight too. In pirate movies, you you drawn to that stuff, you need deliverance. All right, let's go. First Thessalonians 2. Let's look at First Thessalonians. Let me go all the way over there. And then we'll go to Nahum. First Thessalonians. And I'm going to tell you that you will not be afflicted a second time. When, once these are cut, it's over with. They will not come back. That's what Nahum, Nahum, Nahum 1 and 9 say. Let's look at this. In, in verse 5, well, let's look at verse 5 first. What's it say? Verse 5. It says, For neither at any time did we use flattering words, as you know, nor cloak for covetousness. God is our witness. And sometimes, remember I talked about the selfish ambitions? Covetedness, flattering words. It's to throw you off. It's to throw, keep you off track. The Bible says in verse 18 that in verse 18 of this same text, look what Paul says. says, therefore, we wanted to come to you, even I, Paul, time and again, but Satan hindered us. This spirit brings hindrances. It flatters you. Says real good, real good stuff. It sounds good. Cliches. And this is why many of you uh, need deliverance. Acts 10 and 38. You, you listen to those good cliches. They sound good. And, but some of you are sitting and say, oh, well, it ain't in the Bible. I don't need an apostle. I don't need deliverance. Well, that's up to you. The ones that's on here that yield to it and that avail themselves are the ones that are free. Get free. Acts 10 and 38 says this. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power, who went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil. Someone said, well, Apostle, he, he didn't name the octopus. He didn't, he didn't name. But I'm telling you, it's a marine spirit. And you need the deliverance for it. Let's look at Nahum 1. And so many times, remember I told you, you cut the tentacles, you deal with the problems, they return. It's a little different with Job because I believe it was a hydra spirit. These are, some say, oh, that's mythology, that's et etymology. But practically, these things are happening to many of us. Let's look at Nahum. Somebody, let's look at Nahum chapter 1. Y'all go over there. Let's go to Nahum. Nahum. The prophet. Let's go to Nahum. Nahum chapter 1 and verse 9. It says, what do you conspire against the Lord? He will make an utter end of it. Affliction will not rise up a second time. Y'all see this? Sometimes it's addiction. It's drunkenness. Verse 10 says, while tangled like thorns and while drunken like drunkards, they should be devoured like stubble, fully dried. From you comes forth one who plots evil against the Lord. 
the wicked counselors. Let God deliver you from wicked counselors. For the ones that keeps you in thorns, uh, keeps you off balance, you're not growing. There's no spiritual growth. Some there are generational curses and demonic dreams. I know. Well, Apostle, I, I don't want to tell you that. Do you know we have run into this spirit when we do counseling and deliverance? Well, I ain't going to receive it. I don't see it in the Bible. I ain't going to receive it, Apostle. So those that are avail themselves will receive it. Some are bewitched. They can't receive anything. Galatians 3 and 1. Just go look at it. Some are bewitched. But this marine spirit of the octopus must be dealt with. And many a times it comes to you like this. It's real quick. All of a sudden you're in its grips. It has a lot of speed and agility. It happens so quick and you wonder what happened. Mm -hmm. Dominates you. Controls you. Creates infirmity. Sickness. Oh, Apostle, I don't believe marine spirits are real, are real. But guess what? Some of you that are listening to me are dealing with these symptoms. All right, tag, my electricity is cutting off. Oh, I bind the devil in Jesus' name. Can y'all hear me? I bind. All right. Y'all, can y'all hear me? All right, can y'all hear me? Uh, this electricity just went, it just went crazy. Okay. Can y'all hear me? All right. All right. Okay. I don't know what happened here. So let's go. We're going to deal with this octopus, uh, spirit. And it is, listen, it's a marine spirit. Okay. I know I laid a lot of these symptoms, okay? I want you to stay with me, and I want you to receive this, and I'm going to break the tentacles. Now, remember, that spirit releases poisonous words. That ink, when you go look and study that octopus, you will see the spiritual ramifications of that demonic spirit. You will see what it does practically. Thank the Holy Ghost later, okay? Thank him later. But some are feeling limited, being squeezed by this spirit. No, Sister Marlowe, it wasn't your, uh, it wasn't, that has never happened. It was not your Wi-Fi. It's the enemy. But I, that lets me know I'm right on point. That lets me know. Yes, yes. This loss of destiny, every destiny pirate and thief is going to be addressed. It enslaves, yes, negative thoughts. Thanks for sharing that, Kimmy. Amen. I know I went probably a little bit too fast, but we're getting ready uh, to pray. But that, that spirit uh, shut these lights off. I bind him in Jesus' name. It's time to go. So let's go. I want y'all to repeat this after me. Where you are, those that are watching me, whether it be on YouTube, wherever you're at, wherever you're at, I want you to repeat this after me. The devil is a liar. This will not be your portion any longer. These tentacles, they must be broken. I know. So if you're saying, well, apostle, I, I didn't, you know, I can't, I can't get it. Listen, legalism and rationality and intellectualism will keep you in bondage and also ignorance, things that you don't know. Amen. So let's go. Repeat this after me. Say, Father God, I'm going to try to go slow. Say, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I come out of agreement 
with any unforgiveness, resentment, bitterness, or hatred. One towards anyone that has tried, that has hurt me or wounded me, say, I forgive them. I release them in Jesus' name. And say, I make my confession within Christ. I'm a believer. And I believe that you died for me. You sent your son to save the world. I believe in the death, the burial, the resurrection and ascension. And that's why I'm going to receive the deliverance today. Say, Holy Spirit, I welcome you to come and to destroy these demonic tentacles of the octopus and this demonic spirit. Say, I renounce the queen, queen spirit and the marine alliances associated with the octopus spirit in the name of Jesus. Say, you are exposed today. You will no longer camouflage. You will no longer slander, backbite, or gossip against me. Some of you, those words need to be dug out of you. Holy Spirit, pluck them out. Those demonic words, the slander, the flattery, so that you will weaken up and continue to be the prey of this spirit. Say, Father, today I ask you to break every chain. In the name of Jesus, say I renounce loss of identity, mental loss and mental blanks, mental fog, mental confusion and chaos. Say I renounce it in the name of Jesus and I cut these tentacles. Come on, all six of them right now. Say I cut them one by one. By the authority of Jesus' name and the authority of the blood. And I even cut the legs that they stand on. And even the demonic personalities associated with the octopus say, I renounce it in the name of Jesus. Say, I renounce the watery dreams in the name of Jesus. I renounce rebellion in the name of Jesus. Stubbornness, lawlessness, and any form of addiction to food, drugs, alcohol, whatever it is, say, I renounce it in the name of Jesus. Say, I renounce diabetes and attacks on the pancreas and every spirit that is causing pain in my body. I renounce and come out of agreement with that pain in the name of Jesus. And every spirit do like this that tries to control my mind. You octopus, I cut the tentacles in the name of Jesus. Let them cut and let the blood soak the crown of my head, the crown of my head and to the soles of my feet. Say you octopus alliance, you're leaving today in Jesus name. Say, I renounce manipulation, domination, religious spirits, fear, pride, gluttony, or eating disorders. Say, I renounce it in the name of Jesus. And say, I command you by the authority of Jesus' name, you will leave when you are told to leave. Say, I break free from the grips, from the grips of Satan. And I shatter the arms, the legs of the octopus in the name of Jesus. Say, I renounce every infirmity, depression, anxiety, being in an identity crisis, misfortune. Being in a funk, say, I renounce it in the name of Jesus. And say, Lord, I repent and come out of agreement with water witching, 
Come on. Mind control. Mind binding spirits. And all forms of witchcraft. Idolatry. And I renounce allowing Jezebel to control me. Or Delilah. Come on. Let's go. Uh-huh. Say I renounce it. And I break the curses. From Delilah and Jezebel. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say I renounce any intimidation and any alliance with the sea. Say, I renounce it. And say, I renounce headaches, migraines, and I command my neurotransmitters in my stomach to be healed, to be whole. Some are waking up. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You have had a decent night of rest but you still feel lethargic. You still feel tired. Say, Father, I renounce it. I renounce tiredness, lethargy, and laziness. And I break all limitations from this octopus spirit. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I renounce all doctrines of devils, greed, Say, come on, I renounce it. Love of money. Say, I renounce it in Jesus' name. Say, Father, thank you for the freedom that is promised through Jesus Christ, your precious son. Say, I receive healing and deliverance. I avail myself today. I become vulnerable to the Holy Spirit, not to apostle. I'm vulnerable to the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, come in. Deliver me. Set me free from this bondage. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Now, I'm going to pray. And I'm going to tell everything that you renounce to leave. All right? So some of you, you might need to get some paper towels or you do this at your own risk. The ministry has no liability. You're going to do it at your own risk. Amen. I want you to break through. You'll see the difference. If you get this measure of deliverance today, some of you may need to take a few deep breaths. Matter of fact, take a few deep breaths in and out, in and out a few deep breaths. Yep. Let's go. You may burp them out. You may cough them out, sneeze them out. Come on. Let's go. So, Father, in Jesus' name, I loose a sword dipped in the blood of Jesus to shatter in the name of Jesus, the sword of the Lord, which is the sword of the Spirit. I loose it to the heart of this octopus spirit, and I crush it. I destroy it in the name of Jesus, and I command every demonic spirit of anger, rage, bitterness, unforgiveness to come out. And I cut the tentacles off of the optical lobe, the frontal lobe, the back of your mind. Every spirit associated with migraines and headaches, I command you by the authority of Jesus' name to come out of the optical lobe, the frontal lobe, the back of the mind in Jesus' name. Selfish ambition, gluttony. Come on, place your hands on your stomach. Gluttony, come on, let it come out. I command it, all gluttony, eating disorders, to come out. Those demonic appetites, come on. Your belly shall no longer be your God. I release a sword to shatter this octopus spirit. I break those tentacles. One, two, three, four, five, six. I break them in Jesus' name. And I break the legs of that octopus. Break in the name of Jesus, and I rebuke you. You will not camouflage or hide. Come out of the eyes. Come out of the ears. Come on, all the way up. Come out of the neck. Come on, and any place where you have been restricted, I break you out of it through the authority of Jesus' name. And I break generational, hereditary, bloodline curses of witchcraft, watery dreams, 
unrenewed mind and I break the power of the demonic spirit that when you try to read, when you try to pray, that it limits you, it constricts you, it causes headaches or infirmity. I command it now to come out, be loosed from this bondage in the name of Jesus. Rebellion, stubbornness, and any parts of addiction, I break it off of you. Addiction, loose them. Addiction to drugs, spirits of pharmakia, come out. And every spirit of Orisha, come on, loose and let them go. Destroy your spirits. Spirits of Apollyon, come out in the name of Jesus. Loose them in the name of Jesus. Pirate spirits, come on, all the way out, all the way out. Loose them from this bondage. All destiny pirates, destiny thieves, thieves them as strict constricted you. Come on, break and come out. In the name of Jesus, I cut those tentacles and I declare that they will not return a second time to afflict you. In the name of Jesus, I shatter them. In the name of Jesus, shatter, shatter, shatter. Come on, depression, anxiety. Come on, demonic harassment, demonic recorders. I break them and I shatter them. In Jesus' name, distorted vision, blurriness. Come on, shortness of breath. Come on, out of the lungs, out of the avioli walls. Come on, all the way out. Come out in the name of Jesus. Come on, breathing problem. COPD, lung problems. Come on, all the way out. Come out of them in Jesus' name. Every infirmity, breathe them out or just cough them out. Come on, let them go. Come out in Jesus' name. Come on, uh, align spirits. Come on, idolatry. Jezebelic spirits or curses through words spoken of you. I break the curse words and I command those demonic words to come out of you, spoken over you by relatives, parents, old friends, spouses. Break in the name of Jesus and come out. Broken heart, broken spirit, come out in the name of Jesus. And every marine alliance associated with the octopus, squid, crab, jellyfish demons, come on, all the way out, that brings stinging, that brings pain to the feet, that brings stinging in the hands, that cuts off circulation, come on, a deep breath and let it go, come out in the name of Jesus. I break that demonic alliance in the name of Jesus. And I declare it will no longer squeeze your brain, the tightness of the brain, tightness in the head. Come out in the name of Jesus. All the way out, spirits associated with water witchy, familiar spirits, kudalini spirits. Come on, uh, a deep breath and now cough them out. Come on, all the way out. Come out. Come on, out of the back, kudalini, out of the spine. I crush your demonic tail. I cut off your head, you kudalini spirit, familiar spirit. Come out in the name of Jesus. Loose and let them go in the name of Jesus. Come on, all spirits of chaos, all spirits of lunacy. Come on, some of you have got Masonic oaths and witchcraft and covenants. Renounce them and let me break them. But come out, spirits of Horus and Baphomet. Come on, renounce them. Say, I come out of agreement with all witchcraft, idolatry, Masonic curses, oaths, vows. Come on, let them break. Break in Jesus' name. Now let it come out, spirit of Baphomet, Horus. Come on, all the way out. Come out in the name of Jesus. Let it go. Come on. Go in Jesus' name. Bombarding of negative thoughts, harassment. Come on, all the way out. Come out in the name of Jesus. And I declare that none of these problems will come back or grow back in time. In Jesus' name, you will not be afflicted. You will no longer be a hinder. In the name of Jesus, I declare in Jesus' name that every spirit connected with infirmity, diabetes, come on, a deep breath, come on, come out of the pancreas, a deep breath, now let it go, come out in the name of Jesus, every demonic spirit, every octopus, every boy spirit, come out in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, lust, perversion, come on, all the way out. Come out in the name of Jesus. Go now. Go in Jesus' name. And I command the pancreas to produce proper insulin. I command the neurotransmitters to be healed. Be whole in the name of Jesus. I declare you be whole in mind, 
body, and spirit. In Jesus' name, I declare that you will no longer have shortness of breath. I loose the sword. In Jesus' name of the Lord, to break ancestral curses on your mother or father's side. Just come out of agreement. Say, I come out of agreement. Known and unknown curses, ancestral curses. Break now and come out of them. In the name of Jesus. Come on, octopus. All of you octopus and marine alliances. Come on. I break the head of Leviathan into pieces. And behemoth, I break and shatter your clothes, your camouflaging demons. A deep breath, come out in the name of Jesus. And I declare that all venomous words that are spoken to you through that demonic ink in Jesus' name, or feeling like you're in a whirlwind, in Jesus' name, flattering words that will cause you to yield demonic dreams. I block the enemy from your dream rim in Jesus' name, and I command that octopus alliance to loose and to let you go. By the authority of Jesus' name, the authority of the word, the blood, and the spirit. In Jesus' name, all spirits of greed or love of money or mammon, I command you to come out by the authority of Jesus' name. And all other spirits that's not been identified that associated with the octopus alliances connected with outbursts, rage, anger, murder, or suicide. Some are listening to me. You want to give up. I break the power of that suicide off of you and that spirit of giving up. I command it now to come out, come out of the frontal lobe, the optical lobe, the back of the mind. Come on, all the way out. Come out. Mind binding spirits, mind controlling spirits, break and come out in Jesus' name. Go in Jesus' name. And I break the power of paranoia, suspicion, uh, reoccurring curses and cycles and patterns on your mother or father's side within the bloodline. I break them in Jesus' name. I break them by the authority of the blood, the authority of the word in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you for bringing deliverance and setting the captives free. I ask you to seal this in your precious blood. Let the blood rest upon them from the crown of their heads to the soles of their feet. And according to your word, and First Thessalonians 5 and 23, you said they should be whole in mind, body, and spirit. I could declare that they be whole by the authority of Jesus' name. Let them be whole by the authority of Jesus' name. And Lord, I thank you. And I give you praise for the miracle of deliverance, your compassion, the love ministry, your compassion ministry. And I thank you that they are healed inside and out. Be healed, be whole in the name of Jesus, Christ of Nazareth. And we give you praise for it. We honor and bless your name. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. All right, type in the comments real quick. Is anybody still feeling tightness or had a history of migraines? Don't ask me for medical advice. I'm going to deal with it spiritually. Real quick before we jump off. Come on, type it to the notes. Are you still having any type of pains? Or feeling limited or restricted or heavy. If there is a spirit of heaviness, I lose a sword to it. To shatter and break it off of you. And you should replace the spirit of heaviness with the garment of praise. In Jesus' name. Let them, let them all come out. Let them call anything that is hanging around. Let it come out. Let it come out. Type in the notes. Type in the notes. Type in the notes if you're still struggling or you feel limited. Type it in the notes and then share it. Okay, come on. Let it go. Type it in the notes. Okay, let it go. Go in Jesus' name. Go now in Jesus' name. And Father, anything that's not been identified on today, Holy Spirit, I ask you to go to it and to, uh, to break the people of God free. Anything that's not been identified, Holy Spirit, Go and arrest it in the name of Jesus. All right, Sister Brenda, come on, let's go. Take a few deep breaths and let it go. Tightness where in the chest or in the head? Come on, let's go. I'm gonna. We're gonna deal with it. Let's go. 
Let's go. I command all tightness in the head. I break those demonic tourniquets. Break in Jesus' name. Break in Jesus' name. And I command tightness in the chest or in any part of the body to come out in the name of Jesus. Those octopus alliances are broken. Those squid alliances and crab spirits broken in Jesus' name. And I declare a sane mind, sane thoughts in the name of Jesus. And that your mind is stayed on Christ for he keeps you in perfect peace. I declare the mind of Christ, the attitude of Christ. Let it be released over you. Let it be released over everyone that is listening. I declare you have a sane mind, sane thoughts in Jesus' name. All right, Sister Tarmese. Tar yeah, let it go. All the way out of the neck. Take a deep breath. And I want you to breathe it out and let it go. Come on. Anything hanging around, any residue, come on, type it into the notes. We're, we're almost there. Let it go. Come on, out of the neck. I break the power of any pride or spirits of Leviathan or octopus tentacles or alliances. I break them off of the neck in the name of Jesus. Go. In Jesus' name. Sister Robin, place your hands on your hip and your shoulder. Let them come out. I break the power of Leviathan and I command it to come out of the shoulders and I command every octopus alliance to come out of the hip, all pains and spirits of Ogun, come on, out of the hips that cause pain, come on, out of the hips, out of the shoulder, come on, a deep breath, come on, close your eyes and a deep breath, come out, out of the hips in Jesus' name, come on, the blood of Jesus is against you, go now, go, you will not win. The blood of Jesus is against you. Every tongue shall confess and every knee shall bow that Jesus Christ is Lord. In Jesus' name, I declare this over all of you listening. In Jesus' name, all pains, you must subside. You must go. Go in the name of Jesus. You're trespassing. Loose from all bondage. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come on, anybody else, type it into the notes. In Jesus' name. Okay, Father, I thank you for what you have done in the lives of your people. You shall get all the glory, and you shall get the honor and the praise, because you're God. Thank you for the greatest gift of salvation, and in our hearts, and in our souls. And I declare that every tentacle that has been destroyed and cut, and even the heart of that octopus has been destroyed, obliterated, that this shall not return. No more vicious cycles. No more demonic patterns. No more attacks. Come on. Shatter in the name of Jesus. And even if that spirit is manifested in a nocturnal dream, I command it now to come out. Even through your dream realm. Come on. Every spirit of the owl in the lift spirit. Come on, a deep breath. Let it go. Come out in the name of Jesus. Yes. And the spirit of the Lord. Yes, Kimmy, is your breaker. Let the breaker be released to break you free, to break you out of bondage in the name of Jesus. Let it, let it be released. Come on. The breaker goes forth and he breaks you free. He breaks you out of bondage. The Lord himself in Jesus name. Amen and amen. Okay, God bless all of you. Oh my gosh, uh, thank you so much uh, for joining me today. Uh, we're gonna be a little bit more consistent. There's just a lot going on. We believe in God for this place. Thank you to all of you that support us uh, monthly with that support to the orphanages. We certainly appreciate that. Thank you so much for all the seeds uh, that you give to us in support of those orphanages worldwide. Next week, uh, we are doing, uh, uh, we, we, our plan is to do 500 backpacks by the grace of God to the public schools. And I'm probably going to take this book over there and get on them about this books, these books I told y'all about. Uh, it feels good to be yourself and it's perfectly normal. Nothing but perversion, pornographic pictures in, uh, that book perfectly normal is crazy from 10. 10 years on up to, uh, through high school. This is nonsense. So be mindful uh, with your grandchildren, children going to these schools. Amen. Be mindful of the indoctrination, what they're uh, doing, indoctrinating them in these perverse uh, uh, things. Be mindful of them. Amen. 
Yeah, they put me out of that library. I went up there and caused some trouble in Elder T's territory. When I started reading it out loud, they covered up. One of them about climbed under the desk. This perversion, how could you have this in a public school or the library? But remember, uh, the, you know, they come to destroy a generation. It's the same thing that Herod did. It's the same thing that Pharaoh did. But he just said, kill all the boys. That's why he wants them all uh, in bondage to addiction. You know, he wants to feminize them. This destroys a generation. Are y'all there? Incarceration. You know, all of these things that the U.S. leads in. I would go to my grandkids' school, Sister Marlo, anybody that's on there. You go to your grandchildren's school. If you got younger children, you go to that school and ask them why they have that in the library or why they have that in the classroom. Ask them why. Call the mayor. Call, call the mayor and the governor in your in your cities. Amen? And ask them why. Why? Does a four to ten year old need to know about this? It's not sex education. That's not into middle school or high school. What what is going on? All right. Let's wrap it up. All right, let me say, let me get the names of the books again. The names of the book, it, it feels good to be yourself. And it's perfectly normal. Go to work, soldiers. God bless all of you. If you're led to sow, please sow. Uh, we appreciate that. Go to touch of the master, HMI.org or cash app it to T O T M H M I. T O T M H M I. If you are led to sow. And listen, when you give, you place value in what we do. It's not just about me. When you give, you place value in what that ministry does. I pray that the Lord will bless you. Uh, I'm not going to pray against backlash because guess what? Luke 10, 17 said demons are subject to you in Jesus' name. And Luke 10 and 19 said he's giving you power and authority to tread over serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And nothing he shall do to you shall hurt you or injure you. So the devil is a lie. When he come for you, declare Luke 10, 19. Amen. When he forms a weapon against you, tell him it won't prosper. Isaiah 54, 17 said, you know, no weapon formed against you should prosper. He'll form them, but they're not going to prosper. Whether it be sickness, disease, whatever it is that he tries to bring to you, calamity, attacks, financial attacks, family attacks, it's an attack on a nuclear family. Pray for your family. Amen? All right? So share this. I'm going to jump off of here. God bless all of you, and thank you so much for your time and for joining me today. All right? God bless you.